Hello, and welcome to the University of Alberta's Opening Up Copyright Instructional Module on Copyright in the Kindergarten through Grade 12 Context. Taylor is just settling into their new teaching position at David Vaver Elementary School. It's been a busy few weeks getting to know their students, but they have really been enjoying it. However, Taylor got a bit anxious this weekend. As they were getting their lessons ready for the coming week, they noticed a particular resource on the internet had a long, confusing statement about use in schools and the Copyright Act. In thinking back to what they learned in university, Taylor remembers the advice. See Mac? Not Mech the person, but CMEC, the Council of Ministers of Education Canada. CMEC is an intergovernmental body made up of ministers of education from all the provinces and territories. It undertakes work on a variety of educational issues, including copyright. CMEC's guiding principle with respect to copyright is that the rights of creators need to be balanced with the rights of educational users. CMEC plays an important role in advocacy and policy development with regard to copyright in the K-12 context. Since 1999, the CMEC Copyright Consortium, which includes members from every province and territory except Quebec, has tried to advocate its members' views on issues related to copyright and education. It's an important area. In 2012, a legal battle between Alberta's Ministry of Education and Access Copyright over teachers' copying of supplemental materials went all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada. In addition to addressing issues of copyright policy and law, CMEC also provides practical resources on copyright for students, parents, school administrators, and for teachers like Taylor. So what kind of resources does CMEC have to help Taylor? Their copyright website is a great place to start, and the Copyright Matters Guide provides many useful questions and answers for teachers. CMEC has also created fair dealing guidelines and a fair dealing decision tool, as well as a compliance checklist for teachers and principals, and a few other resources, all of which are freely available on its website. Taylor starts to remember what they learned in university. They remember learning about free, openly licensed educational resources, OER, or Open Educational Resources. OER materials are ones where the rights holder has made it clear that the materials can be copied and shared with students and others without having to consult any additional copyright guidelines. Then they also remember copyright, CMEC, fair dealing, but what is fair dealing? Then Taylor remembers CMEC's Copyright Matters has more information on fair dealing. Fair dealing is the right to reproduce and use copyright protected works for certain specified purposes and within reasonable limits without permission or payment. It is one of the key ways the rights of users and creators are balanced. While there are other educational exceptions in the Copyright Act, fair dealing is a key means by which copyright protected materials can be used in the classroom. While fair dealing is a key exception in the Copyright Act, the Act itself isn't really that useful for telling Taylor how they can and can't use materials. That's where CMEC's fair dealing guidelines come in. The guidelines can help Taylor determine if their intended use of a work might be fair. In general, a short excerpt of a work can be copied for a class handout, posted in a learning management system, or screen copied to slides. And the guidelines also explain what a short excerpt might be in various formats. If the guidelines alone don't have enough information for Taylor, then CMEC's Fair Dealing Decision Tool can help simplify the process even more. These resources sure are helpful, and with a couple of clicks, Taylor's copyright anxiety starts to fade away. CMEC even provides guidance on the use of internet materials and consumables, such as exercise books. After looking through CMEX materials and reading through Copyright Matters, Taylor feels more confident about what they can use in the classroom and what students can do too. They decide to have a quick look at the compliance checklist. Taylor notes that the checklist suggests principals review copyright with teachers and staff at least once a year, and they decide to ask their principal about this first thing Monday morning. Taylor heads right down to the principal's office to share the useful CMEC copyright resources they found during course prep on Sunday night. Taylor also wants to make sure the principal knows about open educational resources as well. 
Much to Taylor's surprise, the principal was already reviewing new copyright guidelines issued by the Municipal School Division. But what about CMIC? Taylor asks. They're a national group of provincial ministers. The principal points out that CMIC's guidelines are just that, guidelines. And it's important to remember that individual school divisions or boards may have their own guidance for teachers. The principal also notes that at the next staff meeting, copyright and open educational resources will be discussed for everyone's benefit. First bell rings and Taylor heads off to class ready to start another week of teaching, confident that although they can't see Mac, if they have a concern about copyright and fair dealing, they can certainly check with the CMEC copyright resources. You should now be able to describe the role the Council of Ministers of Education Canada plays in relation to copyright and schools. Identify CMEC resources for teachers that provide guidance on the use of copyright protected materials in schools. And recognize that school divisions, boards, and districts may have their own more restrictive copyright guidelines. This has been the University of Alberta's opening up copyright module on copyright in the K-12 context. Thank you for your attention.